Hi, everyone. Today for Wednesday's reading, we're going to be reading a fictional passage called New Neighbors. Remember, fictional means that it is not real, right? Fictional is kind of like fake. That's how I think of um, fiction and fake both start with F, so that helps me to remember. So read to see what Yuki discovers. The grass looked shiny. It had rained last night, but now the sun was shining brightly. If Yuki looked just right, she could even see little sparkles. She waded out into the grass to see if she could catch one. Just as she bent down near a sparkle, she saw a girl looking at her over the fence. Yuki stopped. The girl waved her fingers a little bit. Yuki waved back a little bit and stood up. Just then, Yuki's mom stepped out the back door. Oh, hello, Yuki. This must be Roxy. I was just talking to her mom in the front yard. The girl nodded. Do you want to see my sunflowers? Asked Roxy. Yuki looked at her mom and then nodded. She went to the fence. In the corner of Roxy's yard, she saw the tallest flowers she had ever seen in her whole life. Okay. Again, boys and girls, just like yesterday, if you want to pull out the passage so that you can have the passage next to your comprehension questions while you read, that is perfectly okay. So ugh, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that way I can have my story and my questions next to each other. Still figuring out how to use this camera, boys and girls. Sorry, I get a little, it's all over the place a little bit. All right, number one, this story is mostly about. Okay, so the keyword I want you to focus on here is mostly. Okay, we, we don't want to choose something where they just quickly mentioned it. We want to think, what is this mostly about? So we have three choices. A girl playing in the wet grass how a rainstorm hurt some plants, two neighbor girls, and how they met. Hmm. Okay, well, I know that Yuki was in the grass, so that's a possibility. How a rainstorm hurt some plants. I don't think the story really talked about that. And then finally, two neighbor girls and how they meet. So if I think, okay, which one is the story mostly about? About her being in the wet grass? or about how these two girls met, I think it's mostly about how they meet, right? All right, so Yuki and Roxy met because they were outside playing and they met over the fence, right? That's what the story is mostly about. So number two is a prediction question. What do you think will happen next in the story? So there is no right or wrong answer here. What you should be thinking about is what you've already read in order to make a prediction. So it seems like the girls are getting along well, right? So a prediction that wouldn't make sense would be um, something like Roxy told Yuki, don't come over and play, right? That doesn't seem like a prediction that would make sense right now because based on what we've read so far, it kind of seems like they're going to become friends. So a prediction that might make sense to me would be maybe Roxy says, um, would you like to come over into my yard and play? Or a prediction that might make sense is Roxy and Yuki became friends after that, right? You can decide what, pr what prediction makes the most sense to you, but it has to be based on what you've read so far. Okay, and finally, I'm going to go through one more with you which is use the story to fill in the blanks and complete each sentence. So Roxy likes to grow. Okay, so we have to go back into the passage to see what is it that Roxy likes to grow. And if I go to paragraph four to find some evidence, do you want to see my sunflowers asked Roxy. That would lead, lead me to believe that Roxy likes to grow sunflowers in her yard, right? So using the passage, I'm going to make sure I write the correct spelling, sunflowers. 
So again, boys and girls, the idea here is that we're always going back into the text and using evidence. I'm going to have you do four through eight on your own, and I'm looking forward to reading your answers when these get turned in on Friday.